Um, this is an interview show highlighting the talents behind the upcoming Space Warp, issue one. Um, tonight we have the man who has been dubbed by me, the new church, in the same way that Doug, way back in the 70s, long before this man was born, created 2000 AD. Uh, my guest is putting his magic touch, his designer magic touch, into Space Warp. Yes, it's my buddy who looks slightly embarrassed, so I'm going to prolong this slightly longer. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? That's not a bad intro, was it? That was that was very nice, Tony. Thank you. Yeah, you can see I put some thought into it. For a Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's so, nice to be here. <laughs> it's, normally it's just audio. We con- we contact each other through the audio medium, but now I can actually see your pretty face, which is lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that's my gift to you. <laughs> <laughs> We've had to stop we laughing too much before we began. It was yeah. you said rude things. Okay, so we're going to talk a bit about space warp. I said rude things. Talk a little bit about space warp. So I wanted to approach this in a slightly different way from what we normally talk about. We normally talk about the creation of comics, but you are, for your day job and for your evening job, which I'm going to call space warp, a designer on TV. Uh, yeah, yeah. So how did you? What was the road to being a designer? How did that all begin? Was it a you? Did you go to uni for it or? No, I never actually uh, went to university. Um, <laughs> you're probably not surprised. <laughs> um no um it was one of those when i was at school um the careers advisor do they still have those now i hope so they were great weren't they yeah um and i was just at school thinking oh i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna stay at school and and like just do art and and she was like what do you want to do i want to draw comic books exactly is exactly what i said to her she was like oh well have you thought about going to college you know art design and stuff and i hadn't really thought about it and then i looked into it and i ended up um and I was doing an art course, uh, GMB. Oh, I can't remember what it was now. It's been so long. <laughs> um, but basically, I did I did a year's art and design course, intermediate, at Salisbury College. Okay. And and I thought, oh, I'll just do the I'll do the next stage up from that. Yeah. Um, and then when it came to that, there was the oh, we've got you know people from other courses coming in. So do you want to sort of see them? And I was, I was like, yeah, yeah, all right, we'll see them. Then there was a graphic design course. Oh, okay. Um, and they they spoke to me about that, and then I did, and from then on, I thought, oh, this this looks like the sort of stuff I quite like to do. So then I did um four years, and then had an H and D by the end of it. Um, it, it, my my life seems to be like just sort of rolling it, it, into the next thing. Like I wasn't expecting to go to college, and then I went to college, and then wasn't expecting to do graphic design, and I did that, and okay. then towards the end towards the end of my course, um, you had to do work experience sort of thing, and I yeah. I had done I had done a few illustration jobs. Um, through the college for this company sort of it was in Basingstoke and I so and I I don't know why I, I just couldn't get you know every, every time I went for a work experience interview they didn't want me so uh, what uh, uh, I know yeah. who's laughing now <laughs> 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 um, but um yeah so and these people that I did illustrations for said do you want to do work experience here I went and did work experience and then they offered me a job and you know and then then my career I've, I've since had like a few Sort of different design jobs but then that's you know so full-time nine to five yeah um in different sort of avenues like graphic design has been my sort of thing yeah but your bread and butter the, but the mm. thing is the thing is for you dude is not only do you do it for a job you do it elsewhere you do it in your part-time i think am i right in saying that the t-shirt you're wearing is designed by you as well at the moment this one isn't I right know. oh sorry i thought that it one is was. a birthday present and i love it but i, I, I do have a few present. um <laughs> i do have a few um t-shirts that i've designed and stuff because um there was a point where I, I was doing the nine to five, um, you know, and with different jobs, but I wasn't doing anything that I necessarily was creatively sort of excited by. Yeah. Least. And we need that outlet sometimes. Yeah. We talk a lot about that, don't we? You need that as a creative person or anyone, really. You need that artistic outlet somewhere, don't you, in your life? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, completely. And then when I just started, uh, you know, I just thought I'd do a couple of illustrations, or a couple of designs for this in the day of MySpace, of course. Hey, remember that? I've got your comic from MySpace. What was your comic uh, from MySpace called? Uh, Stalkerville. Stalkerville. I've got it. It's yeah, on the shelf yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that came about, but before I, I even did that, I was just um, just doing illustrations and some designs for like just in, like indie bands, like American bands and stuff. You know, I just listened to yeah. them. And thought, oh, you're cool. You know, I. What do you think of this? And then then they through that I've done a few sort of album covers and it just sort of. Went on from oh, nice. one thing. Anyone you can say, anyone you'd want to say, people will know of or they can look for. I mean, I mean, I doubt there was many that 
a lot of people know for I, I did some work for um it was a lot of heavy metal stuff like right i was gonna say mostly rock. folk music is it or oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. folk, folk uh, trance jazz uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> now i was doing a lot of heavy metal stuff and there was like a, an album there was a band called sacred mother tongue who were all oh, right uh, okay yeah, i'll come out they, yeah, they yeah. were they were a uk outfit and i did um i did a couple of eps for them and then did their um album cover when like they got signed and stuff and like yeah. it's and that was um you know you go into your local hmv and all of a sudden like there's a cd cover it's cool net nice, I've, I've designed that that was pretty cool uh, also through doing these sort of things though because i was just doing you know i wasn't doing anything for any major labels or anything um, yeah i did design like there was a heavy metal festival called the hellfire festival which went on for a couple of years um there was one in birmingham there's one in london and i did all the I did the logo and the design and everything for that. So oh, when, nice. yeah, yeah. So and because of that, like, got free tickets to it and like, you know, met a load this, of bands and things like that. It was... This is great, you know, because I've known you for how long? We known each other for just over five years, I suppose. Mm. And uh, we talk for multiple hours every week. And I didn't know any of this. Yeah, <laughs> none of it. Yeah. 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 How many hours have we spent in the pub together? And I still didn't know it. Oh, that's yeah. great, man. Yeah. Yeah. But so, so we should we say that that then moved on into the design of your own comic books and other people's comic books, didn't it? In a way, yeah, I was done some work for me. Yeah, there was, uh, you know, I do genuinely like love des- design anywhere and like page layout and things and you know fonts and yeah. you know I'm the guy that if you if you drive past a billboard you go mm, look at the kerning on that oh look at that font <laughs> um, but I keep it to myself. Yeah, you don't <laughs> want to get too sexy. Do you? Yeah. Do you? yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, thankfully, uh, my fiance Jo, she's also a designer, so we'll both be like, "Oh yes, what about that one?" Uh, oh, let's see. I don't know where <laughs> we're going with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. what it's meant to be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. <it's, laughs> so um, design is very much, and just just the way that page layout works and and print design. Uh, getting a chance to like do these extra things, like like CD covers and stuff. It's it's also you know you learn new things you're testing you know d- designing like a like a 48 page catalog for someone is very different to designing a, a digipack um cd for yeah. for a band yeah. or, or or preparing artwork for t-shirts and um and logos that you know when, when sometimes when you're a designer and you, and you say oh could you send the logo through and someone sends you a logo that is from the web and you just think I need to print this A3, so that isn't going to work. You know, right, okay. there's all, there's all yeah. the things that, you know, all these skills that I are just like bread and butter to me now. They're, yeah. they're like sort of second nature and knowing how things go to print and stuff. And that's why, you know, I mean, pr- the print medium, I love the print medium anyway, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah I think exactly. it, you, you know, so it's, it certainly helped. Um, so when I started doing my own comics and working on comic stuff um, for other people, it's always in, you know. That's that's like hardwired into my brain. You know yeah. that that's yeah, the, yeah. that's the, that's the border. That's the type area. That's the bleed. And um, even when like when we've we've spoken on the show like to people, you know, on the podcast before, um, you know, like crop marks, bleed area. There's all these things that some people don't know about. So when they yeah, set exactly. files to printers, yeah. it's a little bit tricky. With me, it's second nature. So when when I design for other people, it's you know I, I go into it thinking. Just let me know what you want. I'll put it together, and then you'll get what you need to. Yeah, to yeah print. ideal. Yeah, yeah, which is you've certainly done for me. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. So the question I ask everyone on this: What was your road to space warp? Then how did it begin? The road to space warp. I suppose it kind of begins the fact that we've been out for dinner and and chums with Pat, aren't we? Is that kind of how you came to his notice? Do you think? I don't um, know who he is because he sort of. I know he's surfed about certain websites to look for the right feel to it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm. I'm I don't know how the yellow brick road led me here, but um, <laughs> I mean, cause even though I've like, I've done a lot of design, it's not like there's a huge, you know, Oh, he, Vince is the, the comics design guy. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's done the portfolio, you know, I, I haven't, know. Got, I haven't yeah. got a portfolio website for instance, which is something I need, I need to sort of get on at, right. at some point, but you know, there's lots of people that have like Behance and all these different sort of portfolio sort of websites. Right. And I didn't necessarily have that. I just had the work I, I had done that's literally like the calling card like um yeah. and I, know was, I know um pat was very struck with um the hall chronicles cover which you put up you did like a vhs cover design for me um mm. which was all your own work and i think he was very impressed with that i think yeah i'm very much um i i i, I like to think of myself as an ideas you know 
sometimes I just throw a crazy idea out there. Yeah. Like like in like even in my nine to five, it's like do three concepts. And there'll always be one where I'm thinking, well, we don't have the budget to do this, but wouldn't it be cool if we could do this? Yeah. Um, you know. Um so I'm I'm used to sort of thinking outside the box and also working within the box yeah, at the same okay. time. So so when it came to things like the the Hall Chronicles, it I it just very much an idea just came to my head and bam, off to the right. It, it, it was like I ran I just asked you what 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 you thought of the idea and then just then just went for it. So, yeah, that was good. Yeah. So you came to the attention of Pat and did he message you or did he call you? I can't remember what happened to say did you want to get involved? Um well um Pat and Lisa got in touch and just basically emailed me. Um it was logo work initially. Okay. Right. Um that I I came on board to just sort of help sort of um just polish up the the logo. Um, you know, I can't I am not gonna take any credit for you know the stuff that had already been done. Right, okay. Um, but yeah, I, I came on board and, and sort of said, yeah, I, I can help you out on this. And then it was more a case of, it wasn't like jump in, we'd like you to do all of this. And I didn't look at it like, oh, if I do, if, you know, if, if I set the fireworks off, they'll get me to do the rest of the book. That wasn't okay. my thinking. Yeah. It, it was a, you know, they need help with this. Yeah, I was going to say, they wanted help with this little thing and then this yeah. little thing and they saw that you could do it and it sort of moved yeah. onwards and snowballed, yeah. didn't it really? Yeah. And yeah. I think a lot of it, um, I kind of, it's the back and forth in the communication, you know, it's just knowing what people want. Yeah. It's trying to deliver on that. So, um, yeah. And, and we had like, we had, a, we had a Skype conversation and, you know, just talking about sort of what they wanted and stuff. And Yeah. And then you messaged yeah. me very excitedly. <laughs> yeah. So, well, <laughs> <laughs> look, this might be, look, this might be happening. And then like, you know, we finalized the logo. Yeah, and they were ha- they were happy with it, which is um, I mean, above all all that, I mean, this is this whole thing's like amazing, like for, like for, from someone that was reading comics on the newsstands when he was a kid and stuff. To, you yeah, know, think, you know, work, you know, seeing the artwork that, from these like artists that I'm, you know, I get the privilege to see now. Yeah, and working work. with like Pat, Pat and Lisa, and, you know, I didn't. Tony, I didn't. Yeah, well, well you know, <laughs> every rose. Um, <laughs> no, it's always a pleasure working with you, Tony. <laughs> it's just recording a podcast with you that's a uh, bit touch and go. Um, no, um, no, I didn't. I, I didn't think I, I'd be in this position. So it, you know, it's and working on comics. You know yeah, I mean. that's the thing. That's the joy, isn't it? That we're working mm. on a comic um, with a you know a great writer and some amazing artists and. Mm. You know, and Lisa's great. Lisa's great to work with. She's very sort of yeah. list, listens to what you say. Right. I think then now is the time. I was told to keep these to 15 minutes. That ain't happening. The um, now is the time. Let's Sorry. Have a look at, yeah, that's all right, babe. It's not your fault. You happened on everyone. Well, we have yeah. Cliff Humber on it. It's not going to happen. You know, with Cliff on, is it? Let's yeah, face it. Yeah. 45 yeah. minutes minimum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, go to, um, would you mind screen sharing the advert that you created, um, which is fucking awesome. I love this advert. Let's see if we can get it, get it up. Who were? Uh, there you go. And Something's happening. Something's happening, she said. There you go. So we've got the welcome to your warp. Do not adjust your reality. It's already been warped, which is a lovely little byline. Now, <clears throat> what I admire most about this geezer is the fact that it's modern, but it's got such a taste of the 2000 ADs, the Star Lords, that sort of thing. Is that something you went for in the creation of it? It was, um, once again, it's it's very much, you know, knowing what the brief is working to the brief and, and working with pat and lisa they they had a they, there was a quite an interesting sort of development in sort of um amends and things as well you know okay. or, or, or notes that they were giving me um which worked really well for me actually but um you know they just let me know that here's the, here's the sort of idea we've got and you know it's definitely you know harking back to their memories of like 2000 ad and like the first 2000 ad sort of spread yeah, um, like when you open up those pages. Yeah, um, so you know to keep that feel, but still be fresh and new and it, it, its own thing. Which of course, like you know, as soon as you put in the, the fantastic artwork and and everything yeah. of the artist, it, it becomes its own thing. Yeah, every um, every um, column in it. Is, so the six columns each with the story, and then you've got Cliff's bottom right as well. Each column has got its own personality, isn't it? That's what yeah. I think. Yeah, and there was a definite um, discussion back back and forth to. Um, like like the um creative flow and the rhythm of the page um 
because when I was initially doing it, it was just about like getting the placeholders in place, right? Here, here's where this is, and they, they would yeah. send back. They would actually do little sort of um, videos of notes of sort of saying, right, here, here's our thoughts. Here's our thoughts. We like this. We like that. Okay, know? that's interesting. Um, yeah. And you know, my if, if to anyone out there who's working with, with a sort of designer, um, who's like a full time designer or whatever, um, sometimes they like they'll be like, oh, so, so, you know, sorry, we're being picky. We, we, just let let the designer know what you want. It's yeah. you know, um, you know. I, I I do this on a daily basis for. Um, it's, it's the <laughs> sometimes old, always, stuff I don't want to be working on. This yeah. this you know. The, it's you know, the old equivalent. That, what's the musical equivalent? Is it the guy who did the? Is it the Happy Mondays album where he said, "Can you play it louder but quieter, please?" You know, you get <laughs> you get little instructions yeah. like that, and you think, "What the f yeah. does that mean?" Yeah. But it sounds like they you didn't have it. It was fairly um, free sailing with these guys, you know. Yeah, people. it was the, it was yeah. the freedom to. Um, also, they gave me the freedom to sort of, sort of try new. Things. You know, I, I didn't feel like I must only do it to this template. Yeah. Obviously, I the bare minimum I want to give them exactly what they, exactly what they want. Yeah. Um, and if there's a chance, you know, the, the certain curves. And the way boxes are, or you know, logos, or the way the text. A couple of moments in that where the image sticks over; it's the, it, it jumps out the panel mm. at you. Was that yeah. something you worked on? Is it because you're particularly obvious in the Slayer, the Slayer um, column there? Yeah, I mean, than... it's it's something the panel break, uh, as it would be with a sequential page, is something yeah. I've always fa- a fan of anyway. So I, I think I'd already locked in my mind, you know, stuff like that would be cool. Um, it was something they they also brought up as well. Um, right. So I was like, brilliant. I can see the the moments where this can happen. Yeah. And um, yeah. And then they just let me the freedom, like um, on the on the futant um, page, you yes. know, as, as well as the hand breaking off. As I was doing it, I thought it'd be good if the you know the the bullet wounds or whatever broke okay. off as well. Yeah. And uh, nice. really, yeah, good. yeah, really like it. Yeah. So Thank you've you. had access to all the artwork so far, is that right? I have had access to a lot of um, sort of pages. Um, yeah. Not necessarily anything, anything finished right now. Um, right. You know, so some you stuff. Managed to pick and choose what you're going to use, what gym, which image you're going to use, or with with some of them, um, there was a there was a case of you know I did sort of saying I've got a couple of pages, you know, because so I could pick and you know see what there was on the panel because I might be able to see something in a panel. Yeah. Um, That's and right. there was certain, that man definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And certainly there was um, when they had the initial idea of the Jurassic Punks one, for instance. Um, yeah. The, the female wasn't on it, the, the female character. Um, and a lot of these things are you know, bring in the, the design bit because a lot of these things that you'll see in these panels, th- there's Photoshop work. There's there's me taking the fantastic artwork okay. and, and sort right. of merging bits together. You know, so yeah. there's, there's bits of the original stuff, there's promotional stuff, and I'm merging it together so it works on that advertising space. That it's so got. I'm guessing you're using that, that you added the female to the panel for... Um... A sense of size and all this sort of thing and and, uh, and 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 also to give a sort of because one of them was um sort of an action shot of a, like a character and you got the blood on his face and stuff right and um when i was looking at the pages i thought there's a fantastic female character there as well so yep. you know and you know she's got a cool it's, it's almost i mean i love movie posters movie poster designs always something like i'm absolutely adore and i you know, in the majority yeah yeah the majority <laughs> yeah so so there's that composition of, yes of, like, that's what know, i was going with that yeah, yep. yeah. Every yeah. single one of these panels had a composition to me. It, it's not just you're doing a cover and that's a composition. But when you're dealing with something like this, which is an advert introduction pages, works on many levels. Yeah, um, everything's ev- got to pull you in. Ev- Your yeah, eyes ev- dart across the page. I think. Yeah, yeah. Every single section has to work for what it's selling, and also not detract from the message that's that's working across the spread. Because the welcome to your warp. And like you know, the space warp sort of branding yep. had to be across it. The message, you know, yep. it's it's in your face. You know, this comic's going to be in your face. And so, who wrote the copy for it, dude? Was it you, or was it Lisa, or it was Lisa and Pat? Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 There was a. Uh, um, I think was there was there a couple of bits. I think I added um, stay warped. Mm-hmm. I think I did. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to take complete credit because <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I know, I'm always surprised when they do these programs like two, the 2000 AD documentary or something how everyone remembers stuff I can't remember what I did yesterday you know yeah. what I mean? no I know what you mean I know uh, yeah I know what you mean there was um like for instance all the, the taglines as I call them for that yep. panels like um you know they gave me all those and then it was just a case of once again like a movie poster figuring out the the space where that will work yeah and sometimes I'm like once again on the futant panel I'm De, you know almost deleting everything that's in that background so that the text 
is readable because yes, the, the, I see. Yeah. It all has to be completely readable. Whereas you've got something like Hellbreaker, um, and Ian's like art has this lovely sort of dark texture to it, so I can I can reverse that text out yeah. and make it pop. Yeah. So, and but it was also all the panel, all of those advertising panels having a rhythm. Do you know what I mean? If, like, for instance, the Executioners and the Hellbreaker was next to each other and the other ones were stark black and white, it would look lopsided. Uh, yeah, I see that now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a balance Mate, to there's it. There's so much to it. I'm so slap dash. You normally I say to people send me stuff, I go, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, that's great, yeah, yeah. But mm. um, the, the digging down and the drilling down and looking at stuff is such an art form, isn't it, on mm. its own? Mm. Yeah, mm. it really is. And sometimes you're just um, working with, um like the artwork and what you can do with it and stuff like for instance the executioners originally um um sort of was on the left hand side yeah um but with like the tagline and i didn't really want to cover like gareth's beautiful artwork like the spaceship and stuff with the text okay. i thought it needs to be in that top that top yes. space so, so in it order needs to get to be in that position on it the needs to be in that posi- yeah, yeah it needs to be in that position um and that was one that i also um stepped up and you know, and did the logo design for as well. Right, like, oh, you know, oh, lovely. I mean, they had an idea for logo design, and you know, because of because that word is um, the the classic sort of design nightmare. Um, it's a fantastic word, but it's a long word. Yeah. And when you have yeah. to, you know, when you have to work into into a narrow sort of space, how, how can you do it? So you know, there was some, and you don't want to just take it. You could take a font from the internet, but then you've got like you know rights and you know crediting yep. people and paying things and i've done i've done many logos before where i've taken different things broken them apart right and, and put them all together to be become its 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 own thing nice um yeah. so you know i i mean how the guys back at the start of 2000 ad would do they, they couldn't go and buy a font could they you know yeah the old classic 2000 ad was probably drawn by someone with a couple of rulers and a couple of pencils you know yeah 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 so and and the executioners one was was one of those it was a nice challenge and i it was one where i another one where i was like i've done this logo what do you think of it here it is on the page and that's sometimes the best way to instead of just sort of showing someone oh i've done this logo it's like here's the logo also here's what it looks like on the page so you can see how it works and it's all work with the characters next to it yeah 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 and and, yeah naturally there was there was tweaks to it and there's certain bits to it but um yeah it just it just seemed to work for that sort of that's brilliant that man. That's as well, so. i think that's um that's good because that's like for me even for me and i i mean i'm stupid but the that's like a little lesson in graphic design for anyone who thinks oh that's a piece of piss you know what mm. i mean and you're that you're always the, the guy who looks at stuff when we're at conventions you pick it up and you go to me oh i don't like the design on that or oh, i really yeah. like that but you know it's that sort of thing yeah. and i think we need to we need to pay more attention to it because it's almost like it's a bit like letters isn't it it's taken for granted a lot of the time yeah yeah and, th- and when you're designing you have to think about you know some people, like you know, like you say, we, we'll look through a comic, and I can tell when someone's just put something on a page. Yeah, you know, they spent all their time on the interior pages, but when it comes to the credits and the back cover, it's just, well, have you done this in Microsoft Word? Do you know what I mean? Why, yeah. why, why have you let yourself down on that final bit? Yeah, when the rest of it is is so good. Yeah, um, and that's people not to take, say people take so long to to draw the images. We should yeah. be considering that an equality of that with the design around it as well. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to look more cheap in it, isn't it? You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not to say you need to spend all the time in the world with it. There's some simple design that goes a long way. Uh, yeah. You know, a, a font can can do all the work for you if you you know a simple font on a plain background. It will just do the job if it fits in with the project that you've got. Yeah. And comparing uh, it to 2008 again, we remember the designs on that book. Yeah. I mean, we remember when the the logo design changed throughout mm. its history, you know, and it's yeah. evocative of a period and it's striking and it's nostalgic and you've got to get it right. I mean, we all yeah. remember like the Star Wars logo or the Alien logo or, yeah. you know, these sort of things. It's so iconic with what we see in our eyes. It's so grabbing. It grabs us and pulls us in and we buy it. And yes, yeah, so it's a very important element of it. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes these things come to come together just, you know, pretty quickly. Sometimes right. they are, back, you know, a lot of hard work and backwards and forwards mm-hmm. and like, you know, but other times you have that, um, for instance, like Drew Struzan's uh, movie post for the thing. He yep. was like, yep. I had never seen the film, didn't know what it was. So I just painted this <laughs> and sent it off. The paint was still drying. And, and it's one of the best posters of all time. It is. It um, is yeah. You know, so it's like the, things... um, is it the Road Warrior is the same. The poster for the mm. Road Warrior, the first man, because he'd never even seen the film, and it, that actually doesn't appear in the film. 
<laughs> but it looks fucking cool. Yeah. And for some yeah. reason, it reminds me of the film. You know, it's strange. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there is there is a certain what what I like to have like with these pages as well, like. Because I haven't, and it was the same with albums. Like if I hadn't, I hadn't heard the album yet because the band was still working on it. I still wanted a sense of like what it was, the the yeah. sort of atmosphere for it and the theme. Because you know, if if you've got a, like a real dark interior pages, you don't want a cartoony font on. You know, it, it yeah. has to all merge yeah. together. And yeah. Um, yeah, and with Space Warp as well, I, I know um, the team are very, very much. You know, they want to keep it consistent on brand, and you know, yeah. No, they're, they're, there's a real, there's a real. Mm. I mean, with everyone on this, there's an eye, yeah. to, uh, there's an attention to detail, isn't there? Which is what you need. You if mm. to to come out with that professional product. Yeah. You know, we're not we're not creating um fanzines in you know 1963. We're you know tier bibles. We're creating a class bit of product, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, babes, that's really good. Thanks for that, man. Excellent. Do you want to um, unscreen share so I can see your lovely face again, and then we'll do the uh, just give out some credits and stuff. <laughs> the, <laughs> um good man uh so we're um we're looking at as we probably you see this the cover will have been released as i understand it the cover's getting released this week um if people do want to employ you which i suggest they do um where can they find you where, where are your links etc um well like i said i don't have a website yet so um yeah get in touch with me on on sort of probably twitter's the best um yep. at jester diablo on on twitter yeah, and social media. I never checked like the messages for things like Instagram, and I don't do Facebook. No, I didn't understand that that actually yeah. had messages for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Twitter obviously, uh, I'm on there for the, cool. the podcast and stuff. So yeah, just get get in touch with me there. Brilliant, right. thanks, man. That's really good. Thanks a lot. If you go to millsverse.com, you'll be able to see more of Vince's amazing design work, and we are running up very close to the. Um, he's not used to me being serious. This is what happened. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> we're getting very close to the release of the first issue, and as I say, if you look on millsverse.com, you will see the cover release. Um, I think as it's today is the fourteenth. Cover's getting released on the fifteenth. We think so. Very excited about that, and it looks amazing. We've seen it. It looks amazing. Mm. Um, yeah. Vince's, Vince is, uh, is getting all the art. I'm, most, I'm only getting a little bit, but he's getting all the gorgeous art. So it's, it is incredible stuff. And um, yeah, here we go. Everyone's, everyone's in for a treat. They yeah. really are. Mm. They genuinely are. I know we say that about comics, but I absolutely, completely and utterly mean it 1000% on this one. I yeah. can't wait for you to see this. This will give you those chills that your first 2000 AD gave you, I think. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's phenomenal to, you know. I'm I'm very fortunate to have seen some of the stuff that's coming up, and it will blow your mind, people. It will do. So. Geezer, see you soon, man. Bye. <laughs>